Hey operators, it's Brad. In the last episode of DevTalk, we shared the goals and the purposes behind the upcoming changes for the new season. If you haven't watched it yet, head over to our YouTube channel to catch up. We see the DevTalk series as a great way to share our insights and help you better navigate the gameplay in the new season. So today, let's get into what everyone's been talking about, the graphics and the frame rate stuff. In the previous season, we introduced the frame rate stabilization to enhance your gaming experience, ensuring a more consistent frame rate, especially during intense multiplayer combat and complex environments. We are happy to see so much positive feedback from our community, and we are glad it's working as intended. But with the variety of devices our players use, we knew it was time to take things further. Our goal is to deliver a smooth, straightforward experience for players who prefer to jump right in while still offering plenty of options for those who want to fine tune every detail. In Season 9, we've revamped the graphic settings menu to incorporate the frame rate stabilization feature. Let me walk you through how it works. Based on general purposes, we preset three one click options. Default, better graphics, and better APIs. Each option lets you choose the graphical settings that work best for your device and personal preferences. Default is the balance option. Optimized for most devices, you will get a solid performance during raids and a fine visual quality in the lobby. Not sure which one to pick? This is a safe bet. Better graphics focuses on visual quality. If you want to go with this, the game will prioritize graphics over frame rate. Just a heads up, higher graphic settings can put more strain on your device, causing it to heat up and potentially overheat. Bad LPS does the opposite, it prioritizes smoother, higher frame rates, even if it means sacrificing some visual quality, but it could be a great choice for smoother raid experience. Let me put it simply, choose default for a balanced experience, better graphics for stunning visuals, or bad LPS for smoother gameplay during raids. But if you want a full control and prefer to customize things your way, choose the custom option. It lets you adjust the balance exactly how you like it. You might have noticed that in the preset options, we separate the graphics and the frame rate settings for both lobby and in raid. So, you can boost the lobby graphics to make your character stand out while prioritizing frame rate during the raids for smoother in game performance. We've also added two new settings for both lobby and in raid material resolution and the foliage resolution. If your device tends to heat up or drain battery quickly, lowering this can help reduce power usage and keep things running smoother. On top of that, turning off features like super sampling and super resolution, glow and planar reflection can further reduce power consumption, helping you play longer and enjoy a smoother experience. We understand that it's natural to want a higher FPS, but pushing it too far can sometimes make the gameplay less smooth. Maintaining a stable frame rate usually results in a smoother, more consistent experience. The key takeaway is, it's important to adjust the settings based on your device capabilities. For the best experience, try to avoid your device overheating, since heat from other apps or games could also affect the device performance. Last but not least, over the past few months, we've been optimizing the performance of the light version. Based on feedback from the Season 9 test server, it's been performing well overall. So if your device still isn't delivering a smooth gaming experience with the current graphic setting, we recommend giving the light version a try. Optimization is an ongoing process, and we hope those new features will help you enjoy Arena Breakout even more. If you have any feedback, please feel free to share in the comments below or through our community channels. We'd love to hear from all of you. That's all for this time's Dev Talk. Let's shoot, loot, and break out. We'll see you in the dark zone.